Cycloalkanes are interesting molecules. They have a general formula similar to that of alkenes. This means that they are isomeric analogs of alkenes. Their nomenclature follows the same rules as that of the straight chain alkenes. The only slight difference is the addition of the word cyclo. For example, uh, for a cycloalkane of four carbon atoms, it will adopt a name cyclobutane. Comparing with a straight chain analog, uh, that would be N butane. These molecules are more reactive than the straight chain analogs because they experience a lot of ring strain that makes the carbon carbon bond relatively weaker. The first member is cyclopropane. It has three carbon atoms. Cyclopropane itself is mainly for theoretical interest. It has no much practical significance. However, it has a wide range of derivatives. These derivatives have found very profound applications. And, uh, they are being used to kind of design molecules of pharmaceutical importance. The molecule experiences too much ring strain due to the crowding of the atoms in the ring. The Newman projection allows us to visualize conformations by looking at molecules from front to back. We consider one carbon atom in the front represents, represented by a dot and then the back carbon atom which is represented by a circle. This way we can observe the dihedral angles between the bonds on the front carbon atom and uh, in the back carbon atom. If we look at the molecules through carbon 1 and 2, carbon 1 is the front carbon atom. It's bonded to two hydrogen atoms, one of which faces away from the observer into the plane and the other faces towards the observer of the plane. It's also bonded to a CH2, which is carbon 3. The same bonding is applicable to carbon 2. And uh, from here, we realize that uh, the bonds are in eclipsed form of conformation at zero degrees from one another. So uh, this makes the potential energy of the molecule increase due to torsional strain. And this is responsible partly for the instability of the cyclopropane molecule. The 3D model displays this very well. The hydrogens on the back carbon atom and those on the front carbon atom are totally eclipsed. In addition to torsional strain, cyclopropane experiences angle strain, which results from the deviation from the ideal bond angle, 109.5 degrees for sp3 hybridized carbon atoms. This is also responsible for the increase in potential energy of the molecule and uh, hence the instability of the molecule. The crowding of the atoms in a small space brings the orbitals so close to each other. As a result of this, the orbitals tend to approximate sideways overlap, leading to a high pi character in cyclopropane. Because of this, cyclopropane in some of its reactions resembles alkenes. In organometallics, cyclopropane reacts with the transition metals oxidatively in a reaction known as carbon-carbon single bond activation. In medicinal chemistry, the cyclopropane fragment has actually attracted a lot of attention for drug design. There has been a number of molecules that have reached preclinical and clinical trials that contain this fragment. The potency of this fragment in drug design has been attributed to some of the peculiar features of cyclopropane. For example, the carbon atoms in cyclopropane are all coplanar, meaning they lie in the same plane. Also, there is a short carbon-carbon bond. In addition, the carbon-hydrogen bond is relatively shorter and stronger compared to the acyclic or straight-chain alkanes. Also, 
cyclopropane has a higher pi character. These features allow this moiety to enable drugs to bind effectively with their targets. The next in line is cyclobutane. Cyclobutane has four carbon atoms, three of which are in the same plane. This here is the expected geometry of cyclobutane. In actuality, however, the bond angle is less than 90 degrees. One of the four carbon atoms is actually out of the plane by 25 degrees. The molecule is said to be puckered. By doing so, it kind of relieves some of the torsional strain. Next in line is cyclopentane. It is a flammable liquid that boils at 59 degrees Celsius. It has found applications in the manufacture of synthetic resins and rubber adhesives. And lastly, we have cyclohexane, which is usually used as a solvent for industrial operations. It is also used to make intermediates. For example, cyclohexano. This has found applications in the manufacture of soaps, detergents, insecticides, and nylon.